Good day to you. We have been reading in the book of Exodus. Now, last time we read Exodus chapter 30. Now, chapter 30 covered some different topics, the altar of incense, the ransom money, the bronze basin, and anointing oil and incense. And at the end, God was stressing to them that the anointing oil and the incense should be set aside and holy for use with him, not for other normal worldly use. So here I'm going to read the last verse to you. Whoever makes any like it, talking about the incense, to use as a perfume shall be cut off from his people, excluding him from the atonement made for them. So these things were to be set aside and be holy for use in the worship of God and not to be used for everyday normal practices. So now we are ready to read Exodus chapter 31. I am reading in the Amplified Bible. Now the Lord said to Moses, See, I have called by name Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and skill, in understanding and intelligence, in knowledge, and in all kinds of craftsmanship, to make artistic designs for work in gold, in silver, and in bronze, and in the cutting of stones for settings, and in the carving of wood, to work in all kinds of craftsmanship. And behold, I myself have appointed with him a holy ab. Now, I am doing the best I can with these names, but I have to tell you I'm not good at this, okay? Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to continue. Son of Ahisamach of the tribe of Dan, to all who are wise-hearted, I have given the skill and ability to make everything that I have commanded you. The tent of meeting, the ark of the testimony, the mercy seat that is upon it, all the furnishings of the tent, the table for the bread and its utensils, the pure gold lampstand with all its utensils, the golden altar of incense, the bronze altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, the basin and its base, the finely worked garments, the holy garments for Aaron, the high priest, and the garments for his sons to minister as priests, and the anointing oil, and the sweet and fragrant incense for the holy place. They are to make them according to all that I have commanded you. But notice what God says here. He says, I have filled them with the spirit of wisdom and skill in all kinds of craftsmanship to be able to make. Basically, he's saying, look, I've given you all the skills and all the ability to make everything that I have commanded you to make me. So in other words, I'm saying, hey, take these things and make this. I'll give you the skill to do it. And that's what he's done. He's given them the skill to do it. And he's saying, just do it. I'm saying that you have the skill to do it. Now, when God is telling you you have the skill to do it, you should take him at his word, right? I know a lot of times I feel very inadequate in so many things, but here God is saying, look, I've given you the skill to do this. And that's what he's telling these folks. All you have to do is do it according to what I've said. He's provided them with everything they need to be able to do these things. And if we look at our daily lives in a practical way, he has given us everything we need for our daily life. And all we need to do is go forth in each day and live that and try to represent him and be a light for God in our lives. He's given us everything we need for that. And the Lord said to Moses, But as for you, say to the Israelites, You shall most certainly observe my Sabbaths, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, so that you may know without any doubt and acknowledge that I am the Lord who sanctifies you and sets you apart for myself. Therefore, 
You shall keep the Sabbath, for it is holy to you. Every one who profanes it must be put to death. For whoever does work on the Sabbath, that person, soul, shall be cut off from among his people, excluding him from the atonement made for them. For six days work may be done, but the seventh is the Sabbath of complete rest, sacred to the Lord. Whoever does work on the Sabbath day must be put to death. So the Israelites shall observe the Sabbath to celebrate the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the Israelites forever, for in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he ceased and was refreshed. When he had finished speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses the two tablets of the testimony, tablets of stone, written with the finger of God. So all these were instructions that were given to Moses on Mount Sinai, and then he gives him the tablets of the testimony written by God himself. Again, God is providing them everything they need and the instructions they need, and he's giving them a day of rest. A day of, and this is a day of complete rest. And this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it like this, while that was a law for them, for us, that is representative of the complete rest that we can find in the Lord when we need that rest when we need to get away from the stresses and the strife in the world and we can find peace and rest in the Lord. So I want to thank you for listening. This has been Exodus chapter 31. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, God loves you.